So, I think you are the definition of a townie. All right? Absolutely. I mean, so, uh, you know, uh, can tell us a little bit about what was what it was like, you know, spending your life and growing up in Pittsburgh. Well, I'm back, so I must have liked it. <laughs> yes, um, yes. You know, I loved it, and I think of how free we were to run around the neighborhood. Uh, just enjoy being with our friends daily, getting up early. Uh, you're, you're driving south on Broadway. We're getting ready to go down Jefferson. I mean, this is my my home, my roots. My dad's office was just right up there. Now there's the security title building there. Um, went to Lakeside School. My grandparents were just a couple blocks from us and oh, so you got uh, your whole extended family oh there. yeah absolutely my grandparents oh, nice. um, oh, nice. and depending on what when I had my aunts and uncles here so yeah it's 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 home and it's amazing and I'm glad Brian and I uh, brought the our family and our started our businesses here and stayed in Pittsburgh so the okay house. the house is gonna be on the corner okay. this is where we would ride our bikes around I accidentally ran over my dog right here no, on my 10 speed no. because he would run in front of me <laughs> and uh, yeah, the neighbors here in this house right here just uh, mm -hmm. helped me out and then I thought I killed my dog but I oh, didn't no. this was my house oh my goodness and I love that oh, tile roof. And, oh yeah Please. our kindergarten teacher over there my best boyfriends as in they were boys and then there my grandparents lived right through there Did yeah. you, you said you went to Lakeside Elementary? Yes, Lakeside Elementary School, and that's when they had the junior high there as well. Mm -hmm. And if you turn left, we would exit out this corner and go to Pico for lunch. Yeah, and and, I've heard of that. Oh, Pico was amazing. Pittsburgh Ice Cream Company, right. two C's. Mm -hmm. And so it's right where this White House was. That's right. Yes. That's amazing. And I can't tell you how many times we walked there and my best friend Kirsten's dog would follow us, oh, Licorice. Wow. And he would licorice. sit at the That's he right. would sit at the door and he would just wait for us. This was where we would hang out as oh, well. Lakeside Park. What a what it's like a big playground. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, I just love this area and I love seeing these houses. Mm -hmm. uh, People are starting to take care oh, of Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely. I fell in the lake once because <laughs> my, my babysitter was right here. And um, mm -hmm. we were just walking around. I kind of slipped. I didn't hurt myself. <laughs> You've always been a big proponent of the downtown. Oh, yeah, isn't and, uh, it beautiful? Is there some, is there some buildings in particular you, uh, you remember? I love them all, but the Colonial Fox is when I started getting kind of adult responsibility. But when on Saturdays with the Govitzes or with my mom, we would go downtown and shop. And I remember vividly circling the block. You had to keep circling the block until you found a parking place. Um, and that's just what we did. No big deal. Going to Ramsey's and you had all those different floors and the mezzanine. Mm -hmm. And then the building that Spigarelli's renovated. Um, that one was so beautiful going to Littles. And it's still a beautiful. Oh, building. and oh, now it's they, amazing. They, they but just like the character yeah. of those buildings. The limelight brought this building here and there. I know. That is that. awesome. I'm, I'm so proud of Brandy. Yeah, they really. Yeah, she's just really taken off. And, and that's that's awesome. And, and uh, of course, uh, the Audacious. Uh, you know, Sydney and Sydney oh. bought Audacious there. So. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, That's she bought that. They bought, she bought that building. That is a neat building. It's a great building. And the Bishops one next to it, too, is that. really neat, too. It, it used to be uh, the cantina. This with the Colonial Fox, yes. I remember going in there as a kid. I also remember going into the cinema as a kid because you would get the movie passes and go, go on Wednesday nights oh, that's or Wednesday, so cool. Wednesday afternoons, pardon me. Mm -hmm. And we would do that. Um, and, and so just, it was important to see this just kind of blossom. And I'm so excited that so many people are excited about it.
So you graduated from high school? Yes. And I decided to attend the University of Arkansas with my good friend Amy Price, and she is now a judge uh, wow. in, I think, Paola area. And so, uh, but what happened between the time I decided to go to Arkansas and I left, I started dating Brian. So that's so that's so yeah. that that was a period where you met Brian. Nice. Oh, not when I met him. Oh no, when did, yeah. when did, when did you meet Brian? For the first like time? officially, like I remember Brian, I think was in sixth grade. So oh, yeah, we right. went to school. He was in my basic studies I guess we class. should tell everybody that you're both townies. You're both yes, townies, we're right? both townies <laughs> and have our families here. So absolutely. so sixth grade. So sixth, sixth grade. Sixth grade. Yep. That's, that's impressive. Yeah, oh, it works. Okay. I mean, we were friends for a long time. We went to a dance in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. He actually drove me in the car, but his dad was in the back seat. <laughs> um, and that was to allow Skateway. We did that. So. Oh yes. So I came. I went to Arkansas for a semester, and it was a beautiful campus. I enjoyed it, but I really felt like I wanted to go to school with Brian, and I think it worked out pretty well. So you know, I'm pretty I, uh, happy. You've got to talk to us a little bit yeah. about what it's like to raise triplets, because that's well, something. See, that's an experience most people is, never have. Yeah. Well, I've never had the experience of just one. So you know. <laughs> I think a baby is um, a big life-changing event. Like three of them. Three, you know, you you do what you got to do. It's, that's all you. That's all survival. I can say. It's survival a survival of the fittest. Okay. It's zone defense. It's not man coverage. Because they're all so, numbered. They're absolutely, numbered. from the beginning. Still, I, I was in a sorority. It's Tri Sigma, and okay. they're down, and it's their hundredth year, I think, of being oh, on campus. Well, that's a big deal. Yeah, fiftieth year in the house. Wow. So yeah, it is a big deal. And that's where I, the one thing that I tell anybody who is from Pittsburgh, it's not like being in high school <laughs> at Pittsburgh. I mean, I guess you, you mean the university, it's a university. It's a community inside of a community that you don't get to experience unless you're here. So I yeah. assume you spend a little while a with little the, in bit the of stadium time here? At, yes, yeah. Brian, and this is the 30th year for him winning the national championship. Oh, that's so yeah. exciting. That's so yeah. exciting. But uh, I, we had the longest winning streak in all NCAA football. That's, some, that's, yeah, yeah, that's impressive. It was, Work with cheese. Yes, with and I have. Well, it started back over there in the Crown Building by Limburg Pharmacy. Mm -hmm. That's where Dr. Jim Rhodes had his office, mm -hmm. and uh, so he was my dentist. And right next door to my dad's office on Broadway was Dr. Huff, mm -hmm. and I got braces. My teeth came in all funky, and I <laughs> got braces starting out early. Mm -hmm. um, when I was eight and I started telling Dr. Huff and the assistants that I was going to, I wanted to be an orthodontist. So even that young, yeah. that young, really? How I knew what I wanted, I mean, I, I'm glad it worked out, you know, but. <laughs> I, think, I think it's safe to say it It did, out, yeah. it did. I was really lucky and so I um, always, I liked science, I sort of liked math. I <laughs> like geometry a lot. Mm -hmm. And so those are all the important things and well, went to Pitt yeah. State and got here. And here's your, here's your, yep. uh, so why did you decide to set up shop here? I mean, obviously you had your family's here. That's how they Family the being here, um, we went to Kansas City for six years. So, mm -hmm. um, after, so you had that experience. Yeah. And, and we loved it. Mm -hmm. I lived in um, some apartments and then in Prairie Village and I don't know. We just always wanted to come home. The, involved with the chamber. Yeah, involved with the chamber, Absolutely. involved with the church, Fox. Colonial Fox. Uh, the biggest thing that I've done, you know, is the, the Kansas Mission of Mercy Dental Clinic. And that was a few years back, bringing it back to Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh really modernized that project when Dan Menace had it. Um, 
I think it was, I don't know, 2005, I can't remember when it was, but, and then we brought it back to Pittsburgh, and uh, it was a, a success, bringing a bunch of community people and dental professionals in, here to give some free time, and there's service and expertise and, and such a need too the the investment the investment like on dr uh eustace, eustace having yeah. that facility in here um Brand the new. Bronx, Brand new. Yeah. and you know i think with their big facility started off that that south the southern end mm -hmm. of um town and that's really developing out there oh absolutely I mean, even when you go so back, back as far as Mpix and Miller's, mm -hmm. holy smokes, mm -hmm. that's like on national level. Uh, you've got Jake's keep... Fireworks, that's national level. Yep. Uh, Watco. Watco. Na that's international. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They've got uh, Australia. Mm -hmm. You have Jake's Fireworks that so you see those little pops, you know, little everywhere. everywhere. Uh, where, you know, Pittsburgh's kind of a big deal. We're getting ready to start dragging the gut because yes. the gut starts at Sonic. Oh, but the best cherry limeade, we're going to go all the way around, is a Pico. Yeah, that's and right. And Pico for five cents, and I would always spend an extra dime, <laughs> or an extra five cents for a dime, and you would get a cherry ice. <laughs> and that was before tropical snow was even invented, mm -hmm. so Pico was pretty awesome. Yeah. What, do you, what are you most excited about in, in Pittsburgh now versus what it, when it was when you were... You set this up beautifully. Yeah. It's this area right here. Block 22? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Block 22 and that, you know, Colonial Flox, mm -hmm. then Block 22, and then it's spreading. Yep. And that, I think, is so neat. I, I've toured some of the apartments They're there. impressive, aren't they? Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. the, uh, so neat. And you're starting to see more and more of the buildings downtown convert their second stories to apartments. And I think that's wonderful. And I know that there's, uh, you know, like there's codes that you have for everybody's sure. safety, which I think is important. And, and sometimes, uh, I remember one of my instructors said, sometimes you got to spend money to make money. <laughs> and I, mm -hmm. totally. That's what I had to do with my oh, you know, yeah. building. Oh, I was yeah. in a teeny tiny building before, mm -hmm. and uh, sure it was only 900 square feet. Ooh. I'm sure you had to spend some money on that one. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, and I went from, I mean, literally, I saw an old rerun of the Brady Bunch, mm -hmm. and the Brady <laughs> Bunch, when she fall, Marsha falls in love with the dentist, <laughs> that same chair was in my office in the beginning, and you had to pump it up, and it had a spittoon. Is that a Brady Bunch chair? That's yes, funny. I did. Funny. It was on the the chamber board mm -hmm. when we were at a meeting. It was a retreat, and Rick Webb and... Um, Jeff Poe, uh, they kind of were talking and they said, hey, have we ever kind of set out and said, hey, what's our master plan? Mm -hmm. And we didn't know about it. And, and that question is what brought Pittsburgh 2030 or Imagine 2030. And I think that, I don't know it if it helps for you guys on the city. Oh, planning. Abs absolutely. But Lenexa absolutely. came and talked to us and said, if we can refer back to that, we're not overstepping boundaries or we're not trying to go in a different direction. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think that has helped quite a bit. So all oh, of that helped. planning, I think, has been very helpful in how are we going to grow the community, what direction. And you can see it's just it's paying off. What do you think's in store for Pittsburgh? Growth. Growth? Yeah, absolutely. Growth, and and I, I can't imagine it be any better than it is, but it's going to be. I mean, it's just going to be beyond my imagination, and uh, it's wherever the next generation takes us, you know? Well said.